We all are waiting for the legendary starship to take off one more time, but as always, problems seem to find their way to this rocket. It looks like the launch of Starship's fifth test flight isn't going to take place as soon as Musk had initially predicted. Instead, it's facing yet another delay. So why exactly is this happening? We'll dive into all the details in this video. But before we delve into it, we've got a great surprise for you. We've just listed a very realistic Starship model on eBay at an affordable price. The link is in the description, so go ahead and grab yourself one. Although we all feel frustrated by the constant delays with every single Starship launch so far, there's a pattern of improvement when we step back and look at the bigger picture. Each time SpaceX launches Starship, the time it takes between launches has been gradually decreasing. For instance, after the first integrated test in April 2023, it took nearly seven months for the second test in November 2023. However, the gap between the second and third launches shortened to four months by 2023 March 2024, and then it further reduced to three months with the fourth flight happening in June 2024. The upcoming fifth launch, originally expected in August, has now been pushed to late September pending FAA approval. On the morning of August 30th, during an online meeting, NASA official Kathy Luders revealed an updated timeline for SpaceX's highly anticipated fifth Starship test flight. According to Luders, the launch is now expected later this fall, and the earliest it could happen is on September 22nd, the first official day of fall. This new date pushes the launch past mid-September, extending the gap between Starship's fourth and fifth test flights to nearly five months, as the last flight occurred in early June. This delay marks one of the longest intervals between Starship launches in recent history. One of the biggest reasons for the delay in Starship's fifth test flight is the slow pace of the FAA's licensing process. In early August, SpaceX announced that Starship and its Super Heavy booster were ready to fly, pending regulatory approval. Yet, despite the hardware being prepared, the FAA has not granted the necessary launch license, and now we're in September, still waiting. This isn't the first time SpaceX has faced delays due to the FAA. In fact, the tension between SpaceX and the FAA has been a recurring theme, especially with the launch of Starship. There have been times when we were more excited to hear that the FAA had granted the launch license than the actual announcement of the Starship launch date itself. This is because no matter how ready SpaceX is to launch, if the FAA doesn't grant that license, the rocket isn't going anywhere. Musk has been clear about his frustrations, publicly criticizing the FAA's space division. Even back in 2021, Musk stated that the FAA's regulatory structure was fundamentally broken and designed for a handful of expendable launches per year, adding that under such a regime, humanity will never get to Mars. The recent explosion of a Falcon 9 booster has further strained the already tense relationship between SpaceX and the FAA. After the booster tipped over and burst into flames upon landing on a drone ship, the FAA swiftly launched an investigation. This has added more delays, not only impacting the Falcon 9 program, but potentially influencing SpaceX's other operations, like Starship. What's surprising is that rocket explosions aren't exactly rare in the space industry, and other companies have had similar mishaps without triggering the same level of regulatory scrutiny. Yet, when SpaceX's Falcon 9 experienced a booster failure during landing, the FAA immediately launched an investigation, grounding future Falcon 9 launches until the issue was resolved. What makes this more frustrating for SpaceX is that the FAA seems to be focusing heavily on this single incident, overlooking the remarkable track record of the Falcon 9. As of September 2024, Falcon 9 has completed over 60 launches this year alone and has set world records for consecutive successful landings and missions. The rocket has logged 299 successful landings and continues to boast one of the highest success rates in space history. Looking at how SpaceX is often stuck waiting for months to get a launch license, it's hard to see how Musk plans to reach his goal of 1,000 launches per year. Every time SpaceX needs approval from the FAA, it creates a delay, even when the mission is fully prepared. This is a big problem for a company aiming to increase its launch frequency quickly. 
To fix this, Musk has been pushing for a portfolio license. Instead of needing a separate FAA approval for each individual launch, the portfolio license would cover multiple launches under one permit. This change would allow SpaceX to move forward with launches more freely, without constantly waiting for new permissions. Meanwhile, SpaceX has been heavily focused on refining its booster recovery systems for the upcoming flight test. One of the most significant innovations in progress is the chopstick catch arms, which are designed to catch the super-heavy booster mid-air as it returns to Earth. This approach is part of SpaceX's effort to eliminate the need for traditional landing pads, aiming to speed up the turnaround time between launches. One of the biggest changes involves removing some of the bumpers and cushions that were originally installed on the arms. These components were meant to absorb the shock when the booster makes contact with the catch arms. However, their removal indicates that SpaceX has likely improved the accuracy of the booster's descent, reducing the need for extra cushioning. Essentially, this means the booster can land more precisely, and the arms don't need as much padding to handle the force of the catch. In addition to removing these components, SpaceX has also reinforced the arms with stronger welds. This is essential for making sure the arms are strong enough to handle the extreme weight of the Super Heavy booster, which is one of the largest rockets ever built. By adding padding and reinforcing the structure, SpaceX is preparing the arms to reliably catch and support the booster without risk of structural damage. At the same time, SpaceX is getting ready for one of its most challenging missions, Polaris Dawn, which involves the riskiest spacewalk ever attempted. This mission, led by billionaire Jared Isaacman, will take the crew into orbit at an altitude higher than the International Space Station. During the mission, the crew plans to conduct the first-ever commercial spacewalk. The spacewalk itself is particularly dangerous because the crew will be wearing newly designed SpaceX spacesuits, which haven't been used in such extreme conditions before. These suits will need to protect the astronauts from the harsh environment of space, including rapid temperature changes and radiation exposure. Unlike the suits used by NASA for spacewalks, these SpaceX suits will be undergoing their first real test in orbit. This mission was originally set to launch in late 2022, has faced multiple delays. The most recent delay occurred due to a combination of technical issues and weather conditions. For example, a helium leak detected at the launch pad forced SpaceX to push the mission from its planned launch date in July 2024. Following that, unfavorable weather conditions in the Atlantic where the crew's capsule would splash down caused further postponements. As of now, SpaceX is targeting a new launch window in early September 2024. In addition to the spacewalk, the mission will also focus on testing Starlink's laser communication system in space and studying how the human body reacts to being in space for extended periods. Polaris Dawn is part of SpaceX's efforts to advance human space exploration and make commercial space travel more accessible. That's all for today's update. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.